Bonjour tout le monde, welcome back to We in France, I'm Diane and today I'm going to talk about getting coffee at a French cafe and I'm going to teach you about the different types of coffee you can order in France at a cafe along with a few tips and best practices just so you're prepared the next time you're in France and feel like grabbing a coffee, so let's get into it. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the different types of places you can grab a coffee in France. Now, first of all, I'm gonna get it out of the way. You're gonna see big chain coffee shops. They've popped up more and more since I've lived in France. And yeah, in big cities, you're gonna see Starbucks and also a chain called Columbus Coffee, indie coffee shops and that sort of thing but here i'm going to focus on traditional french places to get coffee such as a cafe so that's number one a cafe is the most casual of the bunch and you're going to see round tables out on a terrace um, with two or three chairs each where you can just grab a quick coffee or a glass of wine, no problem. And sometimes they might serve a little bit of food, but it's definitely on the simpler side. Think croissant in the morning, maybe a small cheese platter or salad, but not a full restaurant menu by any means. Next up, we have bistros, or en français, bistro, where you can just pop in for something to drink if you'd like. So they usually have hearty, authentically French fare. So if you want a meal, you can grab something like steak frites, croque monsieur, French onion soup, and that sort of thing in a modest setting. And then next up, we have brasserie, brasseries. Um, they're more upscale in terms of decor and service. And just remember, this is historically where beer was made on site. And a lot of them have all day service, a diverse menu, so you can grab something to eat that uh, is actually pretty good. <laughs> all right, now something to note is that these places serve alcohol as well. And like I said, sometimes food, like actual food, not just a donut or that sort of thing. So the place where you get your morning coffee is actually the same place you can head back to in the afternoon for a glass of wine or even a meal. And also note, in recent years, like I said, coffee shops have popped up and you'll see the Starbucks and the Columbus coffees and all of that. But in bigger towns, there are a lot of really trendy kind of hipster places where you can get a really good cup of coffee as well. But for that authentic cafe experience, stick with the cafe, the brasserie, um, the bistro, and that sort of thing. Just a note, if you're curious if a place serves food, they generally have their menu posted outside somewhere on a slate or at the very least up in a window so you can have a look outside first to see what they have before actually going inside. Now, for my tips, when you get to the cafe, depending on the time of day, how busy it is, there might not be a hostess or someone to greet you. But if that's the case, just grab a seat anywhere out on the terrace. If the table is clear and, and free, have a seat. But if a waiter walks by, someone does greet you, be sure to start with that obligatory bonjour, as I always say. Say hello, bonjour. And listen for the words boire and manger, drink and eat. And you're gonna be asked, most likely, if it's not during mealtimes, c'est pour boire, and that just means, are you there to drink? Or are you gonna have a meal? Because sometimes if it is at mealtime, or just in general, they're gonna seat you somewhere differently if you're just grabbing something to drink, and they'll bring you a menu if they have one uh, for restaurant service. Now, something I also point out is that places in touristy areas, many of them do offer food all day long, and you'll know because there will be a sign that says service continu, otherwise, don't expect to eat outside of French mealtimes. That would be roughly 12 to 2 for lunch and between 7 and 10 p.m. for dinner. And this goes double, especially in less touristy areas or in small towns. Okay, let's get into the types of coffee. So number one, we have most simply un café. And keep in mind that café in French, un café, it has two meanings. One, it can refer to the English sense of the word, you know, a place, an actual casual place with outdoor seating where you can grab something to drink. And the second meaning is actually the literal word for coffee, as in the drink. So a coffee, un café. Be aware that if you order un café en français, here in France, you're going to be given a shot of espresso and not a big mug of coffee like mine behind me. You can grab that uh, in my shop linked below. But yeah, if you order just a, a coffee in French, un café, you're going to get a small little cup that's 
pretty much strong black coffee that you can consume in two or three sips max. Next is un noisette, and noisette means hazelnut in French, and hazelnut is referring to the color of the coffee here, not a hazelnut flavoring or anything like that. So this is an espresso with a hint of milk foam mixed in, giving it that slightly lighter brown color. So if you don't want a hardcore espresso, this will lighten it up a bit and is a nice option. Now, next up we have an Americano, um, an Americano, an American, or sometimes called an allongé, a long coffee. And this is the closest to uh, a standard brewed pot of American uh, like drip coffee. It is on the stronger side. It's served black, but it's in a bigger cup than uh, that little espresso. Still not a big mug, but bigger. All right, next up we have a café crème, a café crème, and that is the thing to order if you want milk. You want something more like a latte, a little creamier, and I feel like most cafes don't really differentiate that from a latte, so uh, if you want a kind of a bowl of something creamy, café crème is what you want to get. And next up we have a cappuccino. En français, uh, on dit un cappuccino, un cappuccino. And technically a cappuccino should not have as much milk as the café crème that I just mentioned, but generally I find that cappuccinos at cafes in France, they tend to be pretty heavy handed with the milk. They are quite creamy. And then they have that light layer of foam on top. So. Keep in mind cafes I find seem to charge quite a premium for a cappuccino. It's not two euros, <laughs> generally speaking. Next up, if you're sensitive to caffeine like I am, go for un déca. And that's short for decaffeinated. En français, that's décaféiné. And if you ask for a déca, you're gonna get that little coffee again, but it's a decaf shot of espresso in the little mug. But most cafes, they could do any of your drinks decaf. Okay, next up, my favorite, this is my favorite type of coffee, a café gourmand. So your espresso actually comes on a plate with a small selection of mini desserts, like a madeleine, uh, a macaroon, um, a brownie, a creme brulee, that sort of thing. And it's a nice way to kind of have coffee with with something sweet, with a little bit of everything. So it's really nice, but it's a dessert option. So if you see it on a menu, it's generally for dessert. You wouldn't really get a cafe gourmand just on its own. I guess you could, but um, stick with regular coffee for the most traditional options if you're just getting a drink. Okay, so my biggest tip that I could give you, you always wanna start with that French hello. You wanna say bonjour. And I mention this all the time because it is important. So when you see that waiter, you know, don't get stressed and, and worried about what you're gonna say next. Just start with the bonjour. Don't worry about your accent, just say it. And also, when you order your coffee, although it's on the decline, it is normal to be served a glass of tap water with your coffee. So if you'd like water and you don't get any, it's perfectly normal to ask for some. You could just say, un verre d'eau, s'il vous plaît. Once you have your coffee, people do a little bit of people watching. Some people by themselves, they'll read the morning paper. They'll just relax and enjoy their coffee because that brings me to my next point. Cafes are cultural things in France. It's a cultural institution. You know, you have to sit down and you have to take time and enjoy your coffee. So traditionally, you're not gonna get coffee to go at a sit down cafe. They wouldn't even offer it. So do like the French do, have a seat and enjoy the experience. Now with your coffee on the saucer, you're usually gonna get a little sugar cube or sugar pack and a piece of chocolate or a little cookie. It's a nice touch. You can also order a hot chocolate, tea. Uh, those are all regular things people get at a traditional French cafe. But keep in mind, most of them, at least the simpler ones, they're not gonna have specialty offerings like a chai tea latte or like a soy milk. Yeah, so they're not gonna have anything crazy fancy. So just stick with what I've talked about here. But that said, a lot of places, uh, brasseries and bistros, they might have a more inspired coffee menu, uh, like the drink I'll show here that I got recently with whipped cream. So it just depends, you know, what kind of coffee selection the place has, but yeah, go for it, try new things. Now, if you order coffee out at a restaurant and and you'd like it uh, with your meal or at dessert, keep in mind it's served at the end, as in the very end, after your dessert. So if you want the coffee at the same time as your dessert, you can have them together, but you'll need to ask for it. You'll need to ask the waiter specifically, can you bring my coffee with my dessert and not at the end, which is more standard. The exception would be that cafe gourmand that I mentioned, the coffee comes with the little desserts, but other than that, if you order coffee, it's gonna be after your dessert. Okay, so let's talk about money. When you're ready to leave, uh, when it's time to pay, usually waiters will bring your check at a cafe if you're just getting a simple, a simple coffee of a few euros, but sometimes when they're busy, you know, you will have to ask, so it doesn't always come automatically. So just say, l'addition s'il vous plaît, l'addition s'il vous plaît. 
pay. And then they'll usually just slide it under an ashtray and you could pay via card or cash. And I want to make a note about tipping. Now, tipping culture in France is very different than what you might be used to in the US. When the French go out to eat at a restaurant, they don't leave 20% as a minimum, like many of us do in the US. Tipping is not done in the same way, but when you're at a cafe, it's perfectly normal and a nice gesture just to round your bill up. So if you get coffee or you get a glass of wine and your order is, I don't know, four euros and 20 centimes, you could leave a five. Or, you know, if your bill is nine euros, you can leave a 10. You do what feels right, but definitely don't feel obligated to leave a big tip. And if you're at a restaurant, you know, for good service, you can tip five, 10%. You could do whatever you want, but typically it would be unusual to leave 20% at a restaurant. But for coffee, like I said, round up, and uh, that's generally what people do. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. And if you've been to a cafe in France or have any other quick tips to share with the community, just for grabbing a coffee, or a, a glass of wine in France. I would love to hear about it. Let me know what your cafe experiences have been like in Paris or elsewhere. And uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you back here on We in France soon. Salut!